Hi, Bill Peters here with today's Roll Call Tips. Today I'm going to talk about something that I, I had mentioned last year as well, and that is hose bed security. And once again, the NFPA committee um, had included hose bed security because of the many disasters that had happened around the country. And the, the one that really triggered the committee to uh, act on this was um, two children were struck by a, uh, a pre-connect that had played off a rig and got caught under a parked car and then launched like a uh, rubber band and killed one child and uh, struck another one in the head. And at that time, the committee decided we have to do something about this. So the NFPA standard don't say how you have to secure your hose. It just says that the hose has to be secured from unintentional deployment, left, right, top, bottom, and forward and back. So that led to hose bed covers. Now, many people uh, specify hard uh, tread plate hose bed covers, which are good. It also keeps the weather off the hose. It keeps embers out of the hose bed, things like that. Other people want with soft covers, um, which are fine too, vinyl covers, things like that. Um, <clears throat> some others go with netting. There are many ways of doing this. The important thing is, as a firefighter, make sure that hose bed is secured. It may take you a split second longer to um, unbuckle some seatbelt buckles and flip it up to, to pull the hose off, but um, there's been many instances of a thousand feet of five inch playing out on the highway causing accidents and causing uh, people to be injured. Now, don't forget, this includes all hose beds. So if you have um, suction troughs and the uh, side steps, they have to be secured. Most people do it with seat belt brackets. Your cross lays and speed lays <clears throat> have to be secured. Most people do that with netting or uh, some form of cargo net. And it also includes your front bumper hose trays. If you uh, were in an accident or slam on the brakes, uh, that hose could be ejected out as well. So uh, if you have a, a newer rig, um, hose bed security is going to be provided. If you have an older rig, it's something to think about adding. And uh, just take a minute or two to be sure that hose is secure and that the, um, whatever devices you have to secure the hose beds, be certain that they're in use. That's today's roll call tips. Thank you. Thank you.